Hello and welcome to Top10List.org where you get a world of knowledge in just 10 points. Today's an astronomical episode where we're going to discuss the eight planets in our solar system and what we know about them, beginning at number eight with Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and now the outermost planet of our solar system. Discovered on the 23rd of September in 1846 by Johann Gale and Urbain Leavidier, Neptune was the first planet which was predicted to exist using mathematical calculations before its actual discovery. Neptune was named after the Roman god of the sea and it has 14 satellites. The mass of the Neptune is 17 times that of Earth and 58 times its volume. It is a cold planet and known for its rocky core and strong winds. It revolves around the sun in roughly 165 years and rotates along its own axis in 19 Earth hours. After every 248 years, Pluto moves inside the Neptune's orbit for approximately 20 years. Number 7 is Uranus. The seventh planet of our solar system, Uranus, previously thought to be a star due to its dimness and slow orbit, gained planetary status on March 13th of 1781. It was discovered by scientist William Herschel, being the first planet to be discovered by scientists with the help of a telescope. It was named after the Greek sky god Uranos. It is the only planet whose name is derived from Greek mythology, rather than Roman mythology. Every other planet of our solar system is named as per Greek mythology. With mass 14 times that of Earth and a volume 68 times of Earth, Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system. The planet is tilted unusually along its axis, which gives rise to extreme seasons lasting about 20 years. A day in Uranus lasts for 84 Earth years. Uranus has 27 known natural satellites. Number 6 is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet of our solar system and was named after the Roman god of agriculture. It is the second largest planet of our solar system. Saturn is well known for its planetary rings, which make it visibly different. Saturn consists of the concentric rings around it made up of ice and ice-covered dust particles which revolve around the planet. Saturn has nearly 150 satellites, and satellite Titan is the largest satellite in the entire solar system. Its mass is 98 times that of Earth, and its volume is 764 times that of Earth. Number 5 is Jupiter. The fifth planet and largest planet of the solar system, Jupiter is a gas giant with mass 318 times that of Earth and a volume 1,321 times that of Earth. If we combine the mass of all other planets in the solar system, Jupiter weighs two and a half times of those planets combined. Jupiter was first discovered by ancient astronomers, and it was also named after the ruler of Roman gods. Jupiter has a big red spot on it, which is a storm. Jupiter has a total of 65 natural satellites. It is visible to the naked eye in the night sky. There is no possibility of Earth-like life on Jupiter due to the lack of water, yet there may exist water-based life in the upper atmosphere of Jupiter. Our number four planet is Mars. Mars is the fourth planet of our solar system, known to the ancient astronomer and named after the Roman god of war. It is also known as the red planet, as the presence of iron oxide on its surface gives it a reddish color. It has a cold, desert-like, dusty, and thin atmosphere. Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain of Mars, is the second tallest mountain of our solar system. It is the second smallest planet of our solar system, with a mass approximately 0.11 times that of Earth, and a volume of 0.15 times that of Earth. It has two known moons, Phobos and Diamonds. It is quite similar to Earth in its rotational speed and seasonal cycle. A day on Mars is made up of 24 hours, 37 Earth minutes. Due to the presence of very thin atmosphere, there is no possibility of liquid water, but the planet is believed to be wet and warm once, hence there may be some traces of past life. It is visible to the naked eye. Number 3 is Earth. Earth is the third planet of our solar system and is the only planet known to harbor life in our solar system. Its name comes from the Anglo-Saxon word Erda, meaning ground or soil. It is the only planet which is not named after gods. It is sometimes referred to as the blue planet due to the presence of water over 70% of its surface. Earth's atmosphere is enriched with life supporting elements like oxygen, nitrogen, and water. Life on Earth appeared 3.4 billion years ago, formerly as aquatic life, which further moved to its surface with the help of its magnetic field and ozone layer. The planet is home to millions of species, including ourselves. Earth is personified as the mother in most of the mythologies. The densest planet of the solar system, Earth has a single natural satellite called the Moon. 
Earth rotates along its axis in 23 hours and 56 minutes, making it the duration of the day. During its rotation around the Sun, it rotates 366.26 times on its axis a year. Next we have Venus. Venus is the second planet of our solar system, known to the ancient astronomers and named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. It is quite similar to Earth in its mass, size, gravity, composition, and density. It is the closest planet to Earth, with a dense atmosphere which traps heat, leading to runaway greenhouse effects. It is the natural, brightest object in the sky after the sun and moon. There is surface pressure 90 times that of Earth, which is enough to crush a human being. It has no natural satellite planets. It is extremely dry and hot. Number one is Mercury. Mercury is the first and hence the closest planet to the Sun. It is the smallest planet of our solar system with a mass and volume approximately 0.06 times that of Earth. It is named after the messengers of Roman gods due to its fast rotational speed. A year on Mercury is 88 days long and a day comprises of 176 Earth days. It has no atmosphere to retain heat and hence experiences great climactic variations. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Top 10 where you've gotten your world of knowledge in just 10 points. Don't hesitate to click subscribe and join us again for another episode of Top 10.